Say that wherever I would go, people would say, This is Imam Abu Hanifa. They would point the finger at me and they say, This is the man. Nobody can debate with it. When the atheists came to Kufa, who did the governor of Kufa look for? He looked for Imam Abu Hanifa to debate with him because he was a man who would rise to the challenge. And the governor arranged this debate, and thousands of people were there. And the atheist is there and there's no sign of Imam Abu Hanifa. So they started saying, you know, he's bottled it. He ain't gonna turn up. And after a very long time, Imam Abu Hanifa turned up. And the atheist said, why are you so late for? What kind of Muslim are you? You were given a time. Why didn't you come on time? And Imam Abu Hanifa says, I apologize. But I have an excuse, a valid excuse. Between my house and this place, there's a river. And what happened is when I reached the river, there was no boat. So I waited for a very long time, no boat. And then all of a sudden, what do I see? A tree falls down all by itself. It cuts up into planks. It forms a boat. It comes to me. I jump in it and all by itself, it takes me across. The atheist said, what a load of hocus pocus. Imam Abu Anifa said, game over, debate finished. He said, what do you mean debate finished? The debate hasn't even started. And Imam Abu Anifa rahimullah said, if a boat cannot come into being without a creator and a maker, how do you think the heavens and the earth, the seas and the trees, the birds and the bees came into being without a creator? Mm -hmm.